Hi everyone and welcome back. We're about to head into Facts About New Golf Part 2. I was completely wrong about Part 1. I mean, I wasn't even close to getting it correct. But I've heard that Part 2 might be a bit more factual. A bit more showing the facts. But these two really are just very sweet men. I've also been getting a request about Dentisti, so I might look at that. This is by MG Sweetheart 8. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you want full reactions to this and other things that I have on my Patreon, I will leave a link in the description box below. Oh, right. So they saw each other right from the beginning. So they picked each other out, which helps. Oh, that's a good scene. So they do work really well together. Perfect casting for both of them. Yeah, that's an important scene. She still kissed him straight on. <laughs> You're shy right now. <laughs> and we're gonna get this information. See, look a little touch here and there. <laughs> the guy in the corner. The two guys in the corner. <laughs> oh, that's again. Which is a really good movie. If you okay, look at those. Oh, the still images, yeah. <laughs> His reaction.
See, that's so strange for them to really kiss. I mean, I know it gets them comfortable, but... I don't know. Something about these two. And look, they're really kissing. Not even just a tiny kiss. <laughs> yeah, she wants them closer. <laughs> See, watching this, I get why people are fans of uh, Mew and Golf and Thorn type. Okay. Keep kissing. Yeah, so they should. They have probably some of the best kiss scenes I've ever seen. <laughs> Don't use tongues. Yeah, they're not the only ones to use tongues that I've seen in these VLs. Oh, there's the tongue. Right, that's what they had to say. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, he really, I forget how hard he cries. <laughs> wow, just three or four takes. That's pretty good. That's true. <laughs> now he's shy. So that's interesting, they did the blocking but not how to kiss, or how passionate and when to, that was them. Which actually, for the two actors, makes the scene even more dynamic. Okay, that's blocking there. It just feels like these two have given in to their real feelings. Oh, so intense. Okay. ผมถ่ายออกมาสิสิบห้านาทีอ่ะวิ่งไม่ได้ทําไมอ่ะตัวผมจุกไปแล้วกลับจุกต่อไม่เป็นไรไม่เป็นไรไม่เป็นไรไ
<laughs> One year. No, I'm guessing this is going to be in that video people are asking me to watch. So that's been spoiled for me. They genuinely look perfect right there. Okay. It genuinely just looks like someone's wedding, their first dance. So that was facts about Mew Golf Part 2. It's still not really facts, kind of. It, it probably more suited to what I think they were going to do. So they more or less picked each other out from the beginning. So personally, how I feel about that situation, that usually means there is some sort of feeling about that person. And in their case, because of what the scenes were to tell, I personally believe some form of attraction. It's also just really fascinating to watch because I feel Mew is a very attentive, passionate, but very possessive lover. If you watch, he constantly has to find ways to touch golf, even if it's just to put his hand on his shoulders. And they can always chalk down when they do the kissing scenes and the touching to do with them being actors and the fan base. That's all great, but that's also an excuse that us actors tend to use a lot if we don't want to admit our feelings. Oh, it's just acting, I had to do this for this scene. Golf gets very shy around you, even though they've now been acting for a long time, actually. You know, coming up, what, it's gonna be about 18 months, if not around that now. That's a long time to be around someone and. Knowing that they kissed even during workshops, which is probably more surprising than them continuing continuing to kiss once the director said cut. There's a, it's just the more I watch them, the more I see why they have such a big fan base and why people believe in them. And yes, you have to be careful. You can't believe in them too much because one, it's their life, but two, you don't want to feel too invested in someone and then, you know, they have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. I don't know what they like. Personally, I, you know, I feel like they probably could fall in love with anyone as long as they're happy and the person they're with is happy. They have a great friendship as well, but it's it's very sexually heightened, the tension between them. It's, such, it's strange because I find a lot of the BO actors to have absolutely no chemistry outside of the shows they're performing and they get shy in a way that feels very uncomfortable touching another man whereas these two feel very comfortable yes golf is shy but it, he leans into the touches 
And yeah, they probably play up a lot to do with the people who watch them, especially the ones that like to scream and yell because it's, it's their fans. And Mew especially is very dedicated. You can tell he wants to make sure that, you know, he appreciates all of the hard work you guys put in to make the shows popular. Because without the fans, they really wouldn't have much of a career because if it didn't work, they're not going to really want to hire you again. And they picked each other out, like I said. They kissed for real. And again, it felt like excuses of why they really kissed. It felt like they were trying to pretend that there isn't more to their feelings. There's something about these two that you can't help but feel there's more than just a friendship feeling. And that could disappear once they're not acting together. We have no idea. You know, a lot of these BL characters' careers get stronger, but they're not with their partner, so the hype for them dies down. You look at a lot of the BO actors, you know, and also they transition now into straight roles. You know, you're losing a lot of the BO actors now to the younger generation coming up, which is pretty sad. I really would like to see more mature adult themes from them, but you can't force someone to stick to one genre because you're a fan of what they do. You feel like blushing when you watch Mew and Golf. It feels like it's so private and that wedding part. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that was spoiled for me because I should have watched the other video. I do find that strange that they even did a wedding video for their anniversary because that feels like it's partly to do for the fans and partly to do for them because I've never seen two actors look at one another the way these two look at, at one another while they're rehearsing while they're doing their scenes it it feels as if there are actual feelings and that generally could happen with how close they are because their characters are very much about sex love lust passion you know it's not just a simple kiss they've been given the reins free reins to kind of explore their characters even more than i think gmmtv does for their actors i have no idea where they're going to go for part three I feel like everyone just wanted them together and they're just perfect for one another. I, I feel like they're even perfect for one another outside of their roles. It's going to be hard. I, I feel bad for them in the sense that it's going to be hard for them to build up a fan base as big as what they have for Thorn Type when they leave Thorn Type because it's so popular and they do such a good job. And the connection may not be there for them with other actors. But I do hope they stay friends, they stay in contact, and whatever they do behind the scenes is what they do. But these two are extremely talented and deserve all the luck in the world. And also, you know, it's not wrong seeing a kissing scene, is it? It's always good to see that. Thank you for watching. That was Facts About Mew Golf Part 2, and I will be back soon with Part 3.